Welcome to your seven day forecast with Angelic Ascensions. I hope all is genuinely well. This may be a reading that may resonate with you if you happen to have Cancer in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, dominant in your natal chart, or if you happen to be cross watching for a Cancerian. You might find some information in this reading that may resonate. There are a few things that I would like for you to keep in mind as you listen to this reading, Cancer. I understand, Cancer, that this reading is general and that not everything that's mentioned in this reading may be a fact to your story. There might be some things that you might hear in this reading that may be a fact to your story, and then there are, are guaranteed going to be some things that you might have to throw out. Listen to this reading with discernment and discretion and with an open mind. Even though you hear me saying that this is a seven day forecast, Cancer, understand that not every single thing happens at the exact same time for everyone. So sometimes it might be necessary to be patient and let the reading play out. It may not resonate initially at the time that you listen to the reading because it hasn't had a chance to happen yet. Sometimes the events in the reading may not be happening directly to you. It could be happening to someone around you or you could be observing it. Lastly, Cancer, we're gonna go over some topics that you might feel are sensitive. If that's not the type of reading that you came in search of, take this opportunity to sign off. Otherwise, those of you who are ready to take a deep dive with me, let's look into what might be going on for you over the next seven days. Cancer, it looks like there's a choice that maybe you're having to make about something this week. Something may need to change. You guys are saying, you know what, you might, there might be some things that are unaligned in your life and they may need to go. Maybe you're having confusion about what to do or how to go about something or how to make this choice. Cancer Nation or Cross Watcher. It looks like you guys are saying that you have a very strong intuition. You have a way of knowing. And this might be a good week to really get some solitude and maybe step away from your busy life to really get grounded. And maybe get to the root of certain issues, especially having to do with self. Like I said, it's like you guys are saying anything unaligned must go. This, in, this includes externally, things that are external from you, and things that may be going on internally. Okay? Because let's make it clear. You're at a crossroads about something. And whatever this is that you're thinking about, it seems like it's making you feel emotional. Maybe you don't feel loved by someone in particular. And maybe it's because you're in some type of disagreement with someone. Justice. Maybe some of you, this has something to do with a Libra. Maybe you have a legal situation that maybe is just really on your mind. And yeah, it looks like you're confused about something. I think this is the week where you might call in some support. Because it definitely feels like you have a lot of support in spiritual realm. Especially in the form of someone that may have passed on. An elder. It seems like maybe you have an elder that may have passed away from cancer. And they may be stepping in at this time that may help you make this choice. All that shuffling and it's still here. Something is maybe causing you to be knocked a little bit off your base. Something might be going on with your lower extremities. Maybe you're having some type of... Um, what am I trying to say? Like muscle, soreness. Definitely there's something going on with your health, especially it feels like it's your heart health. Something could be going on with your bladder. You might be having some type of UTI or infection situation. And we're going to deal with that a little bit later. Really look into that. There's some skin irritation too, Cancer. It might be there is in particular someone that's just irritating you. Yeah, this is the week to definitely get grounded. Meditation and grounding is going to take you a long way with trying to figure out and navigate whatever situation is causing you all this confusion. Because it seems like your emotions might be all over the place this week. There's some things that you might want and desire in your life and it just feels like they're just out of reach. Something might be going on with your possessions. There could be someone dealing rifling through your, your your possessions and you might be having some bad dreams or some dreams that you don't quite understand 
um, cancer. Somebody's coming to you this week for a sexual favor. Somebody's looking for pleasure from you. Cancer, her cross watcher. Also feel that some of you might be dealing with someone who has some type of an addiction. Maybe in particular a drinking problem. Maybe you're going to the bar, somebody pouring up drinks. Okay, something's going on. Somebody might have a little too much to drink. Maybe somebody's an emotional drinker. Something going on with parent-child relationships. Maybe you're concerned about your child. Maybe it's not you that's going through some sort of confusion. It might be your child. Whether your child is an adult or they're uh, a toddler, whatever, they're younger in age. It feels like maybe you're wanting to be there to give guidance to a child. Yes, the guardian. Okay, somebody definitely has skeletons in the closet and these um, skeletons are coming out. Guardian, are you adopting a child? Someone could possibly be deciding to become the guardian of a child somebody letting go like maybe somebody's giving up a child for adoption maybe you are adopted and possibly cancer a cross watcher a guardian that's the hanged man something's stuck you have 15. that's the hanged man no 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 that's not the hanged man hanged man is 12. that's the devil the guardian is the devil 15. A guardian of the underworld. Okay, what's going on? Wands. Okay, you must be dealing with a Pisces. You might be having some. Did I say somebody's a smoker? If I didn't say that, there's definitely somebody. Did I say somebody wants a sexual favor, Cancer. Somebody want to know what that mouth do, Cancer. Somebody is a smoker. Maybe you know somebody to have bad breath. There's definitely some type of gossip. Somebody might be air airing you out. You got skeletons in the closet, right? Somebody might claim to know some information on you, Cancer. Or cross watcher. I said somebody might be running their mouth about you. Okay. Just some just uh, some background information. Some type of gossip might be circulating about around uh, about you or you're doing this yes thank you you're deciding something okay you could possibly be waiting for a court decision you might have some type of legal proceeding that might be going on and that might be what you're confused about because it looks like like you're, you're like something is maybe um complicating your freedom with something it could be mentally Maybe someone's in jail. Somebody feels confined in some sort of way. Maybe having to do with a living situation. What's going on? Maybe that's what you're making a decision about. Either you are making a decision on behalf of a child. Or you're waiting for some type of outside source to make a decision about... Um, about what goes on between you and a child clarity that something's been pending for a while something's just been really bothering you it's been on your mind it's been difficult for you to make a decision and yeah i did say that there could be some conflict going on right now see somebody is maybe has a really quick temper cancer and somebody could be saying some things that they really don't mean but I also feel like maybe what someone is saying is not the truth. Meaning maybe somebody is saying something mm -hmm, that they really don't truly mean. And it might be just in the heat of the moment. There might be a child or someone around you this week that might be, you might view them as defiant cancer. And that might be a very frustrating situation for you. Maybe for you, it, it's that your creative flow is, is blocked in some sort of way. <clears throat> There's some type of change. 
we talked about at the beginning of the reading. <clears throat> Anything <clears throat> unaligned must go. And it feels like maybe you're aware of something, of what that is, Cancer. Maybe you're receiving that clarity this week, but I think some of you, maybe you already have received the clarity. You might just be second guessing it. You might think that you're confused about something, but you're actually clear. Like I said, you may have gotten some insight about something and now you're still like, ah, I don't know how to go about this. But like I said, something is going to be made crystal clear for you this week. Cancer or something in the recent past has become crystal clear and due to something that you've seen. If it's not within you, then it might be in someone else's character. Like I said, if it's not going on with you directly, you could be an observation of this. I said it could be going on with someone else in your life and you might be observing them or you might be giving them some type of insight about something. But maybe you see something that a child does not see about a particular circumstance. Okay, there might be a situation where um, there's, there's some type of a bully. It could be some type of bullying going on. Someone could possibly be trying to keep someone down, keep someone from advancing in some sort of way. Thank you, spirit guides. You are, you're waiting for something. You're waiting for something to change. I'm going to see what that is. For some of you, it looks like it's your financial situation that you're hoping to change. You have a dog. Cancer, you have pets. Okay, somebody has a military affiliation. Someone could possibly be a policeman. Policemen, military, this sort of thing. I mentioned to you something about court. Yeah, definitely something about bullying. And it doesn't have to be that it's outside of the home because for some of you, this bullying is happening at home. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Yeah, something's happening in school. Here, guys, what's going on with the Cancer Nation? Okay. So you are wrapped up in a legal situation. We're going to look into that a little bit more. You're not feeling well. Kind of staying in bed. Cancer, maybe trying to catch up on some sleep. Maybe you want some studying. Maybe you're trying to deal with some emotions. Is that who passed? Because it comes right back out. Somebody in the military. Somebody could possibly be a veteran. What's going on with... You're getting a VA loan possibly. You're dealing with a Pisces. And yeah, you do have a situation with court. Somebody could be ratting somebody out. Okay, like I said, it, it just... Somebody talk. I did say somebody's talking to you, running their mouth behind your back. Somebody could be saying some things about you that are not true. Like I said, Cancer feels like somebody feels like they're airing you out, airing out your dirty laundry. You know what I mean? Skeletons in the closet. Somebody is acting like they know all the, the information, the tea about you. But for some of you, this is going on in court. Okay. And then we're going to talk about that, the crooked man. And this is a love situation. Just know you're being scammed in some sort of way. It's a love scam. Somebody isn't who you think they are. And maybe this is why I see in the great detective. I promise you, you're dealing with a Pisces. Maybe this is you being a detective and looking into something. But, you know, I think that the the um, context is coming together. Cancer, somebody is looking into you. You got a pair of binoculars here. You being watched. Well, yeah, this is a detective. So, yeah, they would be watching. <sighs> Oppressor. What is this about? Somebody into real estate, selling property. 
This is a neighbor we're talking about, death. I don't know what that's about. Is there a fire at your house, Cancer? All right, something might be random. Something might be going on with a pet. You might have a pet that might be going through an illness. Somebody is wanting to, yeah, okay. This has something to do with a court situation. And somebody's locked up. Somebody's looking for help. Somebody could possibly be asking you to bail them out of jail. Somebody's oppressing you and you need help. What is this? I feel like you're irritated by someone. By the way that they're acting or the things that they're the outsiders in your life are doing. Definitely feel like you have the ability to see into other realms. I think you might be seeing a supernatural type of um, supernatural entities, especially at night. Definitely feels like there's something disturbing your sleep patterns, your sleep schedule. It feels like it's all mixed up. You're not able to sleep at night for whatever reason. Is it because of your neighbors? That's kind of what I'm feeling. But there's definitely someone around you that doesn't have the best of motives. I'm kind of sensing that this might have something to do with a landlord, someone that you live with, nine of swords. There's definitely, okay. So this is, this is what's going on with your living situation. Maybe you wanna move. I think you might be doing something to your body. I think there's something about your body that you're trying to change. You're waiting to maybe find out if you have to move. This feels like this is somebody that you live with. For some of you that is just making things hard for you. There's some type of goal that you're working towards. It feels like something is frustrating a goal that you have. Cancer or cross watcher. And you're needing help with something. You're feeling discouraged. With something, with, with what's going on in your thoughts right now. You're definitely feeling uncertain. You're looking for some sort of reassurance. And this is a love relationship. It feels like there's just a lack of respect, a love situation or someone that you live with. It just seems like you want out of something and you're feeling anxious or nervous about maybe doing so or reaching out for help. This is a week where I think you might be feeling overwhelmed and maybe it's, it's a good idea to show yourself some self-compassion it looks like maybe you're wanting to hear some type of affirmation from other people and it seems like you're you've been exposed to a lot of negativity in the recent past and maybe something this week is triggering you some type of intense emotion and maybe you're not sure how to respond to it growth pain i think you're in some type of emotional pain thank you or some type of physical pain that's what this is. You have some neck pain, headaches, muscle aches, this sort of thing. But I think that maybe you're frustrated with maybe something that you're trying to do or achieve spiritually. You got this car talking about crossroads. I don't know why that makes me think of crossroads magic. I'm gonna do some sort of road opener. Because it looks like you need something in your life to change. But it looks like it's up to you to make a decision about something to change. It feels like it could be in your profession, of course. Maybe there's something about your work that you're wanting to change. Yes, thank you, Spirit Guide. Something is up in the air. That's exactly what I was feeling. And this is what's frustrating you. I said you're trying to change something spiritually, but it just looks like the way that you're going about changing something, thank you, has something to do with a contract. 
I definitely feel like this is a lease. I was sensing that this is a legal situation legal okay maybe your home your living situation involves some type of um contract like something that is legally binding i did say you're doing some type of crossroads magic yeah you're trying to clear the way there's some type of blockage okay someone's trying to oppress you block you from getting something that you need because obviously you need help with something and it looks like someone's trying to stand in your way and maybe you've been trying to power through something you've been trying to persevere and especially like i said this has a do to do with your physical health you're in some type of pain it seems like that might be um contributing to maybe something that's going on with your money you got justice here not once but twice okay definitely feel like there's some type of pending legal situation you're looking for some type of legal justice to something and this could be you possibly lighting candles to make that happen you're wanting some type of spiritual justice because maybe you feel like you're being attacked like on a constant basis. If someone's not attacking you spiritually, then it just feels like it's someone's put downs. It's in the way that someone speaks to you that is just become very damaging. And it seems like you it's it's really taking an effect on you this week, Cancer, because it just seems like there's just so much on your plate. And maybe there are certain things that maybe you were hoping for, expecting to happen, and they still haven't. And that's just, it's getting to you. Let's see, what's happening with the Cancer Nation? It also feels like there's a relationship that you're wanting to repair, but you don't know how to repair that goodness somebody has I mentioned to you an alcohol issue you worried about homelessness it feels like you're worried about money you're worried about maybe when you're gonna get paid maybe you don't get paid until next week the end of the week this sort of thing your financial situation might also be up in the air it's an air sign in particular Aquarius Libra Gemini we talked about that at the top of the reading that there is a Gemini Gemini Libra or Aquarius Libra is definitely a prominent energy but we got all the air signs here. Yeah, you're looking at this person. Maybe you feel like someone has lied to you, run your name into the ground, and something is definitely triggering your insecurities this week. It seems like someone knows what those insecurities are, Cancer Nation. And so they're going to go for it. Unless maybe that's how you're perceiving a situation. Because it looks like maybe your perception of something could be off, you know. It could be that you're you're perceiving something a certain way, and it's not really that way. Thank you. So this week, as with any other week, but especially this week, maybe because of certain things that are going on um, in the next seven days or so, it feels like your guys are saying you got to deal with something. Something is really deep. You've been holding on to something for such a long time. And if it's not something that's happening external from you, then this is, like I said, something that is happening internally. It could be the way that you're speaking to yourself. The things that you say to yourself on a daily basis may be very disempowering. And you may not realize it, Cancer or Crosswatcher, but you might actually be keeping yourself running in place. This is why your guys saying this is the week that it's time to let go. And maybe you're, like I said, you, you feel confused about maybe how, but I think you've gotten the insight or you will be getting the clarity. You're indecisive. This is a part of yourself that may need to die. That anxiety ridden part of yourself feels like it's time for you to part ways with that or find ways to deal with it. Yes. Let's say that you might be hearing certain things or perceiving certain things the way that certain people are saying things as an attack 
when it might even not even be that someone is even intending on maybe um trying to attack you it's because of this emotional pain that you're dealing with you might be lashing out at people cancer you got the tree again very similar to pisces you have the tree of death We talked about grounding, getting to the root of the issue. Okay, something about the root. You got to get to the root of the problem. Something is dead, it's old. You're holding on to something that's done. And now it's time for something to change. Because you're shackled to it literally someone's in shackles possibly like someone's in jail or this is like you a prisoner of your situation uh, and I get it something's up in the air you feel like you can't make a decision about something you're not sure which road to travel which direction to go in that's definitely frustrating you this king of swords has something to do with a Leo there could be a Leo involved you've got a Scorpio you do have a situation with your money. And, and maybe it's about some people that are in your social group. Some of you, it feels like maybe some of you have gone through a breakup. And you might really benefit from getting some sleep. That might actually grant you some type of clarity. This might be the week where maybe it's time to look at things from a higher perspective. Especially when it comes to self. But it, you might have to make some very difficult decisions this week, Cancer. There's some... People that maybe you do need to cut off. Maybe it's time to be the queen of swords. Maybe it's, it's that type of week. Because it does feel like there's definitely something going on with a relationship. Or this is you deciding to sever ties and cut something off. Because you're feeling like you have gone through an emotional roller coaster with someone. And you're realizing that somebody just does not want to change. You're feeling very discouraged about this relationship this week. Once again, you have death several times in your reading. So something about your situation, like I said, something, let's see, let's look into this. What needs to go? Right, we talked about anything unaligned needs to go. Your guides are sending you, your spirit guides are sending you some sort of guide this week. Transition. I told you somebody passed, could be passing away this week. Or you're worried, okay? You're worried that someone may pass away. I think that's a worry of yours. Your spirit guides. Or you could be the guide, Cancer. That could be you guiding other people through a period of confusion. This is you. You're going through something. There's some type of guide that shows up. You you get some type... Once again, trees. You gotta be dealing with an earth sign. You're an owl there. Definitely, I feel like you're a spiritualist. You're getting a, a high level of knowledge here. I think you might be a spiritual teacher. But I think that what's missing this week is that you're not grounded. You're not rooted in some sort of way. Because of the circumstances at hand. And I think what your guides are trying to get you to do is to be patient. Spirit guides. Mm -hmm. They want you to quiet your mind. Well, that seems like that's what's going on here. Mind is pacing, moving a mile a minute. You're not able to come up with a solution. That's why your thoughts are spinning in a circle. Overthinking a problem is not the key to any door, or key to a door. You lose a key, you're concerned about losing your place. Your residence take a few deep breaths or your car possibly take a few breaths to still your inner chatter let yourself just be for a while that's what i mean you might need to get away and just have some time to yourself get to some peace and quiet you're not able like i said to come up with a solution if your mind is constantly racing this is why i think your spirit guides are saying literally possibly go outside get out of the four walls of your mind You've been a homebody lately, Cancer. But that's typical for Cancers, you know? 
Go where you feel most alive, a peaceful forest, the mountains, your local park. Let the ocean roar through you, be revived by nature's wonder. You might need a change in scenery, Cancer, because it just feels like, like I said, it feels like you might feel like you need to get away or distance yourself from someone because you don't trust them right about now, especially not with their belongings, okay? Somebody's being incredibly difficult right now. And maybe you don't feel valued by other people. And maybe, like I said before, there's a relationship in your life where there's a lack of mutual understanding and respect. Maybe you feel stuck. And maybe that's the issue. You might be dealing with a child this week that's really maybe um, out, very outspoken. Um, might be giving you some pushback. You're giving them instruction, Cancer, and maybe they just don't want to listen. Might be a kid that's mouthing off to you this week. And it might be that you might not know it, but they might have something deeper that might be going on that you might not know. Talked about skeletons in the closet, which would also have something to do with maybe something that's not being spoken about. You might have a kid that might be going through a lot of pain physical or emotional, and maybe they're not speaking on it. But you can possibly tell in the way that they are, you know, behaving. We talked about that. There's something that needs to be released. Okay, okay, okay. So if you are dealing with someone who is in the system, somebody's in jail, somebody could be possibly getting released. I did talk about maybe bailing someone out of jail. Somebody could be a drunk driver. If this is you drinking, driving drunk. Okay, because I did mention to you, like, an excessive amount of alcohol. Give your keys over. You might need a designated driver this week, Cancer or Cross Watcher. Because trust me, that's not something you want to do. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Let's make that clear. It looks like something can be prevented. But it seems like somebody this week is so reckless are so used to doing things over and over that they might not be paying attention and I definitely feel like somebody is gravitating to some type of vice or an addiction because of some type of emotional pain to numb some type of pain here so if this is you this is definitely why you guys are saying Get rooted relationships. I mentioned to you in the beginning. We talked. To, we're, we're talking about. We're actively talking about relationships. But like I did mention, there's a relationship that maybe you want to repair. Maybe you want to make amends. Maybe you're distant from someone. Romantic or platonic. Could be a family member. It could be a friend. It just seems like you want to make amends with someone, but someone just does not know how to connect with you at this time. And it feels like it's definitely a family member. And it may have something to do, we talked about at the top of the reading, parent-child relationships. There may be a kid that wants to be free to express themselves. Rather than feel like feeling like they're being ordered around, and being told what to do. Let's see, what's really going on? Okay, with a parent-child relationship. Yeah, you got a kid that's just very emotional. They might need a good cry, or this is you. You're just very stressed out, very emotional. You're just maxed out. And there might be a relationship in your life where someone feels like um, you're you're not working on the relationship. There, you're not working on on the love between the two of you. Yeah, there could definitely be someone lashing out in a situation this week. Somebody's trying to figure out what's going on with you, Cancer. Somebody doesn't quite know. Or you're not sure about what's going on with somebody. And somebody's not a mind reader. Somebody might be acting carelessly, okay? Somebody might get the idea that maybe you just don't care. You don't care what they're going through. 
couldn't care less. But I think that it's that someone doesn't know or, or somebody is lashing out because of what's going on in their head. And somebody could be going through things that have absolutely nothing to do with you. And it seems like it could be affecting you. You might feel like someone this week is insensitive. Okay. You might need to speak to someone this week. It could be about a contract that's ending. Or um, maybe it's a company that maybe you need to reach out to. It could be your your kid's school. Um, you might be confused about someone's motives. You got the Seven of Swords here. As though maybe you feel like somebody is moving real, <laughs> real covert. Or you feel like somebody has some type of an agenda. Okay. This is you with some type of financial situation, a financial dilemma. Cancer, it feels like there could be some money that comes in. Okay, Maybe there's some money that you're waiting on. And maybe it gets released or it gets dispersed into your account. And it helps you through some type of situation um, that you feel that you couldn't solve. But it definitely feels like it's a pattern of thought. Some type of illusion I feel like is being revealed maybe about an authority figure. It has something to do with the way that somebody's moving or the way that they've moved in the past. You guys are saying somebody might be coming back into the situation is very likely. Listen to your intuition next time. Because maybe you didn't. And maybe this is why you're feeling heartbroken. Your intuition may have told you something, Cancer, and maybe you kind of went against that. You guys are saying, listen this time. If it's not you, like I mentioned, you might be, you may not be struggling with something financially or emotionally, but it could be your kid. So it may be beneficial to have a conversation. It feels like communication may be necessary this week. Yeah, somebody might be really hurt because of something cancer. You might not realize how much pain someone might be in because of what someone said. Like I said, somebody could have acted in a very insensitive way and somebody's really hurt about it and they're waiting for someone to be real and come through with an apology, but it just feels like you keep, like I said, going through the same thing with someone. They know that maybe there's something about the way that they act or behave that they need to change, but they're just not ready. They just flat out refuse to do so. So it feels like there might be something about this situation that you might have to come to terms with on your own because it feels like you're holding on to something. I don't know how to let you go. It feels like it could be a memory that's haunting you. And you are feeling like you don't know how to let something go or this is a person. I said, it feels like it's, it's time to part ways with someone. You don't know how to let someone go in particular, but it feels like this is the week that maybe you look at something and you decide to come to terms with that. Someone feels like cancer, you would always be there no matter what they put you through, that you'd still be standing there waiting. And it was maybe in the past you didn't know yourself. Maybe in the past the, the problem was that you feared rejection. You really wanted some type of close, intimate interaction with someone. And maybe you approach someone, like I said, and you feel like they tricked you. The lesson was to listen to your intuition, not fight it. So we talked about a financial situation. It feels like that's also what's frustrating you. Your money. You might feel like month after month, week after week, you find yourself in the same predicament where you might feel like you don't have enough funds to get through the week or to pay the bills that you need to pay. A tarot reader you could possibly be going to someone 
I mean, you might be a tarot reader by trade, possibly. Or you could be connecting with a reader to kind of figure out what could be being, what may need to be being, what may need to take place. What is this with the situation online? We don't see that. You might come across some information online that could be beneficial for you. Some type of knowledge or missing information that you might need that helps you move forward. Yeah. You may have been going through something for an endured, for a long period of time, Cancer Nation, a cross watcher. It feels like something is coming to a close. It could be a project, a, um, a project that maybe is connected to your career, that maybe you're coming to a close with. I, I mentioned to you a contract could be getting ready to close. It seems like maybe the date is coming up on something. I'm trying to tell you, somebody passed away. You're visiting the cemetery or someone that passed is just, but someone passed is very special to you. It's just really on your mind or something happens, maybe a song or whatever, and it triggers a memory of someone that passed away. Okay. seems like you're concerned about next month. Something coming to an end next month. Or maybe there's something that you may need to put to an end by next month. There's definitely a Taurus. Okay. Maybe there's an April Taurus. Yeah. Some type of obstacle that you've been going through. Something is temporary. Okay. Cancer. Something that either you are going through or something that extended family is going through. It feels like you and people that you care about are going through something and maybe you feel like you can't do anything about it. Like you feel like you can't do anything but st sit still and wait. I think maybe you, like I said before, you might be waiting for someone else, an outside party to make a decision about something. You are dealing with Pisces. You have Pisces in your chart or you're dealing with Pisces around you or Pisces that maybe you could be coming into communication with in the, um, maybe um, maybe in the month of April. Anyway, I, I definitely feel like there's some type of injury that maybe you're um, dealing with right now. You or someone around you. That could be what someone is communicating to you so that they have some type of pain in their body or whatever. Yeah, you might be visiting the doctor. Maybe a doctor visit that might be coming up for you, Cancer or Cross Watcher. You might need to look into something, some type of, we talked about physical pain. And whatever this is, like I said, that is confusing you. Something that has just become such a labyrinth. It's just some type of puzzle in your life. Again, here come your spirit guides stepping in to give you clarity about something. If you're not clear about something by this month, cancer it seems like things may clear up for you by sometime next month i mentioned a job opening maybe that's something that you um, are waiting for if you're waiting to hear back from a job if you don't hear back this month it feels like you might be hearing back from someone possibly by the by next month be a job opening that might come up that might make the difference for you this could even be your your creative juices okay because like i said your creative um your creative mind could be blocked right now and it seems like you're able to overcome some type of hardship cancer Due to your spirit guides. I said this guide could show up in, in the in a spiritual form, but they could also show up in your life as the form of a person. What in the world is going on? Okay. I said somebody could have been arrested. Someone's worried about some type of jail time. It looks like okay, you have a warrant. You may need to get to court, cancer. Because it's obvious that there's some type of legal situation that you might need to resolve. And maybe you might need to get, like, communicate with um, 
someone um, w w involved with the court. Okay, like I said, it feels like something is temporary. Possibly by the time of next month, yeah, you might get on track with something. That's what's frustrating you. You're not, you don't feel like you're on track with a particular goal that you have. Obviously not. But something about this situation may change. And you might be putting all of this energy and all this worry into a situation that might just need some time to work itself out if you don't go to the doctor, Cancer. Maybe you work in healthcare, possibly. You might be a healer in some sort of way, but I definitely feel like some of, some of you, this is like a, a trip to the dentist, a trip to the doctor. Someone is coming to you, Cancer, like I did say. Um, maybe there's someone that you've lost contact with. For some of you, this extended family member um, might be a sibling or whatever. I could say a parent. You're definitely getting some type of consultation from a spiritual, from um, a, a tarot reader. Or this is what brings you to tarot cancer. Yeah, see, somebody's looking to maybe reunite with you, to come into union with you. So this is you in separation, possibly from a child, due to a legal situation. Okay, Ooh, court. Court situation that you're waiting for. It feels like you might, and maybe you're waiting. Maybe you feel like, okay, it's not gonna work out. You're just worried that a court situation is not going to go in your favor. Or you don't see a child or someone as much as you used to. You've lost contact with them for an extended period of time. You might see this person again coming up. Because it looks like somebody might be seeking to maybe see you, talk to you. Especially if you've lost contact with someone. Possibly your baby's father. Maybe they've been incarcerated in some sort of way. But yeah. Mm. Yeah, singles, maybe you're looking to be in a romantic relationship. You have the Ace of Cups here. Some of you could definitely be deciding to go back into the dating market. And maybe you might be meeting someone. You know, after some type of heartbreak that maybe it's been difficult for you to get over, it looks like maybe you might find love again. I don't know if this is you looking online. I'm not suggesting that you online date, but if you do... I'm not suggesting it and I'm not opposed. I'm, I'm not saying that you shouldn't. I'm just saying that I, just, just an observation. You got a package coming in, by the way, um, this week that, me, that might be coming in, uh, that you might, that might be at your door. You might be expecting it. Maybe this is you doing some type of online shopping. Yeah. And that package shows up. You're getting some type of express packaging. Cancer. Um... You are doing some type of online dating. So you are. <laughs> Screen somebody. And I'm not just saying just because somebody has a criminal criminal past that they're a bad person. But, but you know, maybe there's something that you don't know or you don't see or with the seven of swords that someone is like deliberately trying to keep from you. And maybe having that information would be beneficial for you, you know, for you to have that information for you to know if this is something that you're comfortable with, if this is something that you should proceed forward with. Okay, someone that you've blocked. Okay, it feels like that's the person that's really hurt. Um, both of you might be hurting for a particular reason. Somebody may not know. It's the not knowing of something. I think somebody might want to get in contact with you to make sure that you're good or whatever. Somebody might see or notice that you're struggling with something or they're just very intuitive and they might kind of sense it. You might have like a very intuitive um, telepathic connection with someone. And I think somebody wants to, somebody could be doing like a welfare check. What is this? I think it's either an interaction with your own father or with your baby's father. There's a Sagittarius, there's a Cancer, there's an Aries. For your swords, you got mommy issues. Some of you Cancerians, or your child does. There's definitely a Scorpio and a Virgo, same chart, same, same um, zodiac signs. Okay. 
But yeah, I think that's you. You're waiting for something and it's the not knowing of a situation. A not knowing of a situation that's just really bugging you. But like I said, it feels like it's going to work out for you. The, the information that you need might be blocked from you at this moment. But it's not really blocked for you. If you are able to get grounded and really listen to your guides or pay attention to the information that is that is coming into you through a spiritual um, uh, spiritual channel, spiritual person, and it feels like it won't be that hard to figure out. It feels like you're going to find your way and things might be wings messengers. Thank you, spirit guides. It feels like this person, this comes in in the form of, um, like I said, a messenger. Maybe you're noticing a lot of birds around you, but like I did say, something about love and meeting someone. Love is confusing for you. Maybe this is you coming together with someone, Cancer. Um, figuring out a relationship for some of you. But I think you could be meeting someone that you might feel that you have a very magnetic match with, you know? So something about that it seems like it might be happening sometime rather soon we talked about your finances I think we may have even briefly talked about what's going on with work we talked about health briefly it feels like you could possibly be returning to the doctor this whole work situation is possibly where the gossip is going on. And it looks like your guys may be saying, maybe give this less of your attention because it looks like maybe you've been giving this too much of your attention, Cancer, to the fact that it's frustrating you. Yeah, food for thought. Maybe you're giving this way too much. And maybe that is blocking you from some type of progress that you're looking for when it comes to work. Because it looks like you have a lot of potential to advance. For some of you, this could mean some type of raise, promotion, sort of thing. There could be more... Um, people noticing you, especially if you're self-employed. People might be more inclined to maybe see what you're talking about. People may see you this week. Okay, I think that's what's missing. Because you might be so distracted by what's going on at home. You could be missing particular details at work. So just be careful of that. That could be possibly blocking you in some sort of way. Somebody's computer access could be blocked. Somebody could possibly be getting hacked online. Attracting or chasing. Um, anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way. Because of fears underlying chasing energy. Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude, and welcoming energy. If there's something that you want, your guys are saying you don't have to chase it. Attract it. This definitely is some type of mental shift. Because it feels like there's something that you want, but you may not realize on an energetic and spiritual level, Cancer, you might be blocking the very thing that you want. Because of the conversations that you're having. You're feeling like you have to chase something and your spirit guides are saying no. Cancer, it may be the time to look at things differently. This is the week that I feel like your spirit guides are saying it's, it's a good time to declutter. Your living space, your workspace, maybe you might need some time to carve out some you time. Possibly going outside on a day when it's reasonable for you to do so, so that you can really connect with your guides. It feels like they have a very deep message for you. And it seems like due to trivial matters that may have been going on in your life, you might have been missing these messages. Like I mentioned to you in the beginning, you've been receiving these downloads. But it seems like, yet, you still feel like you're confused. But is that you're doubting. It's not that you're confused. It feels like it's that you're doubting or that the information is blocked from you, like I said, because you got a lot going on in your life. So it might be a good idea to decrease your stimulation level and block out certain distractions this week. Such is what people are saying. Come on. And I think you are spiritual. Maybe you're making sigils, whatever. 
<laughs> seems like, yeah, it might be time to go outside. Possibly deciding to eat cleaner. Cancer, a cross watcher. And you might have some jealousy around you. And that's possibly why somebody's running their mouth. So why really give this so much of your attention? Somebody thinks that they know a lot about you, Cancer, but they really don't. And a card that says, I really don't know you. Somebody might think they've, they've summed you up, but they don't really know. It's this sort of type of, this sort of energy that turns out to be um, a distraction. You're definitely on somebody's mind. Somebody's fantasizing about you. And I said that in the beginning. Somebody wants you to do a sexual favor for them. I told you somebody want to know what that mouth do, Cancer. Yeah, you might be someone that studies astrology, um, palmistry. You might be getting deeper into that, getting some deeper insights or working closer with your spiritual gifts, Cancer, a cross watcher. You're definitely dealing with a Pisces, yes. Grounding, meditation is very beneficial for you this week, especially if you can do so outdoors. You get some type of insight this week that helps turn thing, things around. And I think you might be, maybe things are get uh, illuminated about your path. Maybe you're not sure. Obviously, you're not sure what path to travel. I think with clarity, you're able to figure that out. Come on. <laughs> if you're not dealing with an earth sign, you might live near a forest or whatever. What else for the Cancer Nation? You might have fire in your chart, Cancer. Like you might be like a Cancer... Uh, cancer Leo? But you have air possibly in your chart. Or you could be connecting with an air sign. Specific, but definitely an earth sign. Wisdom. I think that's your purpose. That's your path. Something about that. This week might become very evident for you you got some people that are on the outside of this situation that are very um jealous i mentioned that jealous of you of your accomplishments somebody might see you as competition cancer or cross watcher and i feel this is someone that's trying to cancel you out in some sort of way knock you out knock you down in some sort of way let me i don't know what this is about cancer why i mentioned you might see you might be seeing a lot of bugs around you you might be having a lot of um vivid astral travel dreams and if you're planning on going somewhere or you're planning for maybe you've had someone planning planning on coming to you it feels like that gets a little bit delayed cancer it might be time to go get some shoes this is why there's jealousy. You're meant to be a blessing to other people. And I think that there's something that you do exceptionally well. Or something that you might, maybe you are amongst the gossipers since we talked about this. Someone's gossiping, running their mouth about you. Cancer or cross watcher. Maybe you're one of the gossipers possibly. Or maybe you're the one that does something exceptionally well. Maybe you're just very unique, very adept at something. And people may not, people are scratching their heads, looking at you, trying to figure out how it is that you do what you do. And they seem like they can't seem to contain their jealousy. This is specifically what's going on at work. And like I said, this turns out to be a distraction if you allow it to be. You guys are saying, you know what, Cancer? Knock out the distraction. If it's not in the form of people that you're distracted, I did say something about trivial life matters. Your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention, so it's time to take charge of your schedule and working in my environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important. You already know what these distractions are, and you have the power to responsibly block them out okay maybe that's what i'm seeing with this online thing maybe that's what's distracting you maybe you're just constantly caught up with what somebody else is doing social media life this sort of thing maybe you are not uh, an influencer of this sort or this has become an out of control distraction for you you guys are saying anything that is out of alignment anything that is not in balance cancer this week especially it's time to block those things out 
so that you can get this insight and awareness and make some type of decision. Something this week is going to require some type of an adjustment. Like I said, in your schedule, in your mental space. In your mental space. Maybe physically. Like I said, maybe you're experiencing pain in your body. and Maybe you're trying to block that out and keep moving. Something is going to, you're going to experience some type of adjustment. Or this is a child that might go through some type of adjustment as, uh, as it relates to some sort of change that's going on. Or there might be a kid that might feel like, you know what, maybe you're not really finding balance. They feel like maybe you're paying less attention to them. I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and get to the advice. You're not alone. Maybe this is what I'm seeing with death here. I did say in the reading, all throughout the reading, you may have lost someone. Someone may have passed away. We're here for you. We never left. Through all the sadness and loneliness. However, you cannot sense us near you or feel how much love we are sending you. We are your family, friends, and guides. You never walk alone. We always rock, walk right beside you. And so, like I said, maybe that's something that you've lost sight of. Because as I mentioned in the reading multiple times, this insight may have already come through to you. The clarity that you need to move forward to make a decision on may have already arrived, yet you're still confused. But maybe you're not really confused. If you get what I'm saying, maybe it just takes for you to be grounded and look at something from a different perspective in order for you to see that. But your spirit guides want you to know that it's not just a you thing. It's an us thing. And that they're helping walk you through something. Like I said, this seems so complicated, so confusing for you to help you figure out a path, the path that you're meant to walk. That's it, because you have a lot of uncertainty, a lot of doubt. You're indecisive about the path that you're meant to walk this week. Like I said, you get the clarity or you get another effort confirmation i guess maybe it's beneficial for you to do some type of affirmation work as well but you get some type of confirmation that helps make it abundantly clear to you about what to do and what direction to go in your spirit guides are letting you know that you're not alone spirit guides any more advice for the cancer nation a mother's love a mother's love is reaching out to you at this time and holding you close she knows how much you miss her and wants to remind you that this special bond of love can never be broken. Maybe you're not in communication with your mom. Like I said, maybe you don't see your mom as much as you used to, or it's your mom or grandmother that may have passed away. There's definitely some type of telepathic message that your mother is sending to you. Like I said, even if your mom's not around you physically, in the physical form right now, of course she is, and it just feels like there's something that's just, your mom might be the one that's struggling with something. It's like there's a mother that wants you to know that they're always around you and that they're concerned about you. And that even though Maybe something about your connection or your communication with your mother is blocked at the moment. Or it's just, yeah. That could be what's up in the air also. Your communication with your mom. And she's letting you know that no matter what, she's here for you. In spirit or in the physical form. And maybe that's what this ancestral healing is about the soul healing as i said some of you it feels like you have mom issues reach out we know you're reaching out right now for help due to a current situation support is as much about the physical act of accepting help we're offered as it is about the emotional benefits and learning that it's truly okay to accept support however it's presented to you so maybe that's the issue maybe cancer a cross watcher you become so independent so 
fixated on figuring things out on your own. I did say your guides are sending you messengers to help you figure out how to clear something up. Be careful, Cancer Nation, a cross watcher, that you don't miss the message. Self love. Now is the time to love, nurture, and heal yourself. Self love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from actions you take to support your mind, body, and soul. We talked about that. Self-love. Maybe it's time to kind of, like I said, find some time to yourself. Maybe possibly go out of nature to get grounded, to get centered. To really get to the root of the issue. The issues that are going on in your life that keep you spinning in the same cycles. Cancer Nation, like I said, your guides are calling you out of that. What is it about keys? You need to get some keys copied or whatever. <laughs> okay. With that, Cancer Nation, this concludes your seven day forecast with Angelic Ascensions. If you found that this reading was helpful to you, well, we're going to back up Archangel Gabriel shows up in your reading. If you feel like this reading was helpful to you, Cancer Nation, a cross watcher, give this reading a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. If you do subscribe, make sure that you hit that post notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a video for a sign that you're cross watching for or whenever I go live. Thank you, Cancer Nation, for deciding to tune in this week. Have a blessed, beautiful, productive week, Cancer Nation. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, Cancers.